my YouTube channel. I'm Nina Ngahabianti from 5B class. Well, in this video, I'll talk about classroom strategy for teaching English. Anyway, the purpose of making this video is to share the information about activity or strategy in teaching English for ESL. So, without further ado, let's start it. In this classroom strategy, I would like to use the combination between two activities which are write around and change story to teach and develop students' writing skills. Furthermore, this strategy is appropriate for senior high school students, especially for the third grade students. And by using this strategy, I will teach the use of verb to or past verb by asking the students to make a short narrative text. And based on several teaching theories, this strategy is relevant with cooperative learning. As we know, cooperative learning is a teaching method where the students have to work collaboratively with their friends in the group to solve the problem or task that is given by the teacher. And in cooperative learning, there are some principles such as positive interdependence, promotive interaction, group processing, accountability. And this strategy has implemented these principles of cooperative learning. Now we move to the implementation of this strategy. If you're curious on how we can implement this strategy, here are the steps. The first step is giving the students stimulus. It can be done by asking questions that are related with the topics of the lesson. For example, like this question. Do you like to read story? Have you read about narrative story? And after asking this question, teachers should listen to students' feedback. The second step is giving the students brainstorming. In this step, teacher can start to divide the students into small several groups that consist of four until five students. Then show them an example of narrative text. Ask the students to identify the function of each paragraph of the text and the verb that used in the text. Now they have to work collaboratively to discuss the answer and teacher here only as a facilitator. Move to the next step is giving instructions to make a short narrative text. In these steps, <coughs> students are asked to make a circle with their group. Then, teacher will give a blank sheet of paper for each group. Teacher tell them that they are going to make a short narrative text. But there is a rule that one student will write one sentence in one turn. So they have to write the story by turn. And teacher also should provide several topics for students and students should ask, should choose one of the topics. And the fourth step is start working with the group. In these steps, the first student will write his or her idea in one sentence and then it will be continued by the second student until the last member of the group and back again to the first student and second student and they continue doing this until they finish the story. Remember, to challenge the students, we can set time limit for them, about 30 minutes to finish the story. And the fifth step is presenting and evaluating the work. Each representative of the group will present their work in front of the class. And other groups have to listen carefully to their friends' work to evaluate the work. And at the end of the presentation, teacher can ask the students which one is the group's which one is the best group's work. And the last step is students' reflection. In these steps, students are asked to express their feeling about the lesson and about what did they have learned from the lessons. Okay, that's all about the implementations. Now, I would like to give you a brief review about advantages and disadvantages of this strategy. The first is advantages. Through the combination between write around and change story, it can it can help to develop students' creative writing skill and their ability in teamwork. And also it can develop students' critical thinking to think fast in a limited of the time. Besides that, the disadvantages of this strategy is first, uh, not all of the group members can contribute to present their group's work because of the limit of the time. And the second is, it, it will be difficult for low achiever students to catch up with the activity because they have to think fast in the limit of the time. Okay, that's all about advantages and the disadvantages. 
Now, what we should do to make this strategy effective is first, having good time management and second is, teachers should recognize students' competency because in dividing the groups, students will learn well in the group with different level and skills. Okay, that's all my explanation about this classroom strategy for teaching English. I hope this video can inspire the viewers to provide fun learning for students and I do hope the viewers also read other theories and strategies for teaching English. Mm, that's all from me. Have a nice day and bye.